This TV Mass is brought to you live by Philippine Long Distance Telephone, SME Nation. Success through technology with PLDT SME Nation. Ulit-ulit nating sinasabi na ang Misa ay Eucharistia. Nang ibig sabihin ay pasasalamat. We gather before God who is the source of every blessing and the giver of every gift. And to Him, we give back the honor, the glory, and the praise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God, of our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ, Be with you all. And with your spirit. The love of God is for all. His compassion, His mercy is available to everybody. The moment we begin to feel that God is exclusive for us or that His blessing should only be ours, then we fail in understanding the infinite love of God for all peoples. For those moments when we were jealous, for those moments we were not grateful, we ask the Lord's forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. We join our hearts, we proclaim. Papuri sa Diyos sa kaitaasan.
tayo po'y manalangin. O God, who manifests your almighty power above all by pardoning and showing mercy, bestow, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us and make those listening, hastening to attain your promises, heirs to the treasures of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the liturgy of the word. Moses rejoices. For the sake of Israel, God has given his spirit to the 70 elders, including two at a distance. He then invites Joshua to welcome, not resent, this manifestation of God's generosity. The first reading. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord came down in the cloud and spoke to Moses, taking some of the spirit that was on Moses. The Lord bestowed it on the seventy elders, and as the spirit came to rest on them, they prophesied. Now two men, one named Eldad and the other Midad, were not in the gathering, but had been left in the camp. They too had been on the list, but had not gone out to the tent. Yet the Spirit came to rest on them also, and they prophesied in the camp. So when a young man quickly told Moses, Eldad and Medad are prophesying in the camp, Joshua, son of Nun, who from his youth had been Moses' aide, said, Moses, my Lord, stop them. But Moses answered him, Are you jealous for my sake? Would that all the people of the Lord were prophets? Would that the Lord might bestow his spirit on them all? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Wanton 
sail, especially restrain your servant. Let it not rule over me. Then shall I be blameless and innocent of serious sin. The precepts of the Lord in joy to the heart. The precepts of James strongly condemns the rich for their wanton life and their exploitation of the poor and the weak. Punishment is in store for them on the day of reckoning. The second reading. A reading from the letter of St. James. Come now, you rich, weep and wail over your impending miseries. Your wealth has rotted away. Your clothes have become moth-eaten. Your gold and silver have corroded. And that corrosion will be a testimony against you. It will devour your flesh like a fire. You have stored up treasure for the last days. Behold the wages you withheld from the workers who harvested your fields are crying aloud. And the cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord of hosts. You have lived on earth in luxury and pleasure. You have fattened your hearts for the day of slaughter. You have condemned. You have murdered the righteous one. He offers you no resistance. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all rise to give honor and glory to the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, John said to Jesus, Teacher, we saw someone driving out demons in your name, and we tried to prevent him because he does not follow us. Jesus replied, Do not prevent him. There is no one who performs a mighty deed in my name who can at the same time speak ill of me. For whoever is not against us is for us. Anyone who gives you a cup of water to drink because you belong to Christ, amen, I say to you, will surely not lose his reward. Whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, It would be better for him if a great millstone were put around his neck and and he were thrown into the sea. If your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life maimed than with two hands to go into Gehenna, into the unquenchable fire. And if your foot causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life crippled than with two feet to be thrown into Gehenna. And if your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. Better for you to enter into the kingdom of God with no, with one eye than with two eyes to be thrown into Gehenna, where the worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. Sisters and brothers, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
Napakarami po ang mga nari, ng, ng sinabi sa Ebanghelyo sa ar na ito. Lessons that we can learn from. But I would like to concentrate on one thing, which many times we take for granted, but what one, but one which is truly destructive, one that is a monster in a person's life. And the word is jealousy. Ingit. You know, the gospel, the, the first reading of today, speaks about Moses being in the tent. And that day the Lord decided that mula kay Moses bilang isang pinuno at profeta, ibahagi ang biyaya na yon para sa mga naandun na kanyang ia-anoint. And there were so many in the tent who were anointed. But there were two na na-absent. But strangely, despite of their being absent from the tent, the Lord extended the blessing to them, and they spoke in prophecy. Joshua, the assistant of Moses, complained, Wag payagan silang gawin yan. Stop them from doing that. And Moses understood what was in the heart of Joshua. Jealous, ingit, Oh, Joshua, if only lahat sa taga-Israel would be given that gift of prophecy, that would truly be nice. My dear friends, brothers and sisters, when you begin to feel the karapatan mo, ang biyaya ng Diyos, at hindi dapat ibigay sa ibang wala at hindi mo kasama, you're beginning not to understand that tremendous generosity in the heart of God. Ganon din po sa ebanghelyo natin. Biglang nagtatakbuhan sila sa kay Kristo at sinabi, Lord, 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 alam mo ba, may mga iba na ginagamit ang iyong pangalan and they are exercising demons at effective sila, Lord. Lords, sabi mo sa kanila, stop it. And the Lord had to say, no, do not prevent them. Kung ginagamit nilang aking pangalan, ibig sabihin, binibigyan nila ang respeto sa pangalan ko at ang nilang may kapangyarihan to. If they are not against us, they are for us. For us to understand that God's generosity is outside of the limits na tayong mga tao nilalagyan ito. But we also have to tell you, when a person recognizes that what he has are just blessings, he also begins to find, to begin to, to say, e blessings lang. Hindi ko karapatan to. Yan ang problema sa marami sa mga anak ng politiko natin. Sapagat sila inaandyan na sa pwesto ng kapangyarihan. They feel it is their right and not a trust that has been given to them. Feeling nila, karapatan namin to mabuhay ng ganito, marangya, walang problema, komportable. Not realizing that what was given to them is bagay na ibinigay, na ipinagkatiwala. My dear friends, when a person begins to say, ako lang dapat, when a person begins to say, ako lang ang may karapatan, when a person lives a life of exclusive kami, hindi kayo belong, kami lang dapat. That person is going to be having a destructive life. Alam nyo, hindi lang yan sa mga lay. Ako'y sobrang nalungkot sa isang kwento ng isang kakilalang pari. Sabi niya, Father, kasi recently sa amin, mayroong nag-celebrate ng kanilang anniversary sa pagkapari. Lima po sila. Eh, ako po'y may nakilalang isang babaeng very generous. Eh, Father, nag po ako na ipakilala siya doon sa isa sa mga pari. At nang makilala niya, kaagad binigyan ng invitation, punta po kayo sa aming anniversary. O di pumunta naman. Ito lang ang nakakalungkot na storya. Nang sila'y kumakain na, yung babae naman nag-prepare ng kanyang gift para doon sa pari. So ang kanya pong kausap, Habang kumakain, ay yung paring nag sa kanya at yung paring talagang kanyang kakilala at close siya. Aba nang inilabas na yung checkbook at inilagay yung check sa check eh. Ibinigay sa kanya yung paring 
nag-a-anniversary. Isa sa lima. At sabi ng babae, pero di ba lima kayo? Bigyan na rin natin yung apat. No. Alam mo, sagot nung pari nag imbita Huwag na. Hindi ka naman nila inimbita eh. Yung paring kakilala talaga ng babae, talagang nasyak. Sabi niya, oh my God. At nang nabigyan yung pare umalis, mismo yung nagbigay, nag-react. Ganun ba ang karakter niya? Ibang klase pala siya. Nang ikinuwento sa akin, sobra din ako nalungkot. Kung pare ka at hindi mo nauunawaan, na ang stilo ng Panginoon ay eh, bigyan ng lahat kahit na yung sinasabi mo walang karapatan, how would, you, how would you act as being a representative of a generous God? Wag na akin ka lang. Wag na ako lang ng imbita. Wag na sa akin lang dapat. Alam mo, para mapagbigyan, nilakihan yung kanya. Pero doon ako nalungkot. Can you not be grateful and say, Praise God, you are so generous, you're extending to my brothers. Praise God, you are incredible in your mercy that it is not only me who will be given, but many others. When we begin to feel na exclusive ang Diyos para sa atin, kasama na yung kanyang mga biyaya, there is something else that will also happen. Not only jealousy, Pero sometimes, yung inggit na yan will turn into a heart that is ungrateful. My dear friends, brothers and sisters, when we look at the heart of God, we would realize na tayo mismo are just beneficiaries of the gifts that God gives from His generous heart. At wala tayong karapatan doon. Ibinibigay ito ng libre na dapat nating ipagpapasalamat. Paulit-ulit kung sinasabi, gusto niyo sirain buhay niyo. Always feel like you are deprived. Ito kikwento ko sa inyo. May namit po ako. Talagang yung last kami nag-usap, talagang ako'y, talagang na, na, nayanig ako. He was so angry at everybody. Feeling niya galit siya sa nanay niya who is already 90 years old at nagdaan Alzheimer. At talagang sinisigawan na ng PUTA. Sabi ko, ha? Well, can you say that to your mother? Kasi father ginawa niya, hindi niya inayos yung aming inheritance, pati yung tatay ko galit ako. Ay tatay niya patay na. Galitin ako sa kapatid ko, galitin ako sa kada. Kasi ninakaw niya ang inheritance ko. Sumuntik na ako mahulog. Nung he was spewing, spewing, talagang galit niya. Pero lalo kong nahulog sa sidya ko nang sinabi niya, Father, can you imagine? Iniwan na lamang ako at binigyan lamang ako ng 400 million. Tumba ko. <laughs> you cannot see how blessed you are. My gosh! Millions in the Philippines have not seen a million pesos. You have 400. And you are complaining. Hindi lang. Yung galit niya na feeling na deprived siya, ninakawan siya, was eating him up. And I told him straight, you are going to be a miserable man. Why? You are unable to see how much you are truly blessed. Umuwi ako sa Iloilo. Kasi nagpapasalamat kami sobra. Yung aming pong simbahan sa Santa Barbara has been declared a national treasure and a historical landmark. At sapagat sobrang napakaganda ng simbahan, nag-request naman po o kay Mrs. Iba ka kami tulungan sapagat yung aming speaker doon na hindi maganda ay sa awan ng just binigyan mo naman po kami na napakalaking halaga para po gawa ng panibagong speaker system, sound system, yung aming simbahan, 1.3 million. So, tuwan-tuha akong umuwi. Nang ako'y dumating doon, itong aking mga kamag-anak ay nagpa-party sa akin. No? So, Abang, pag abang landong kami, nag-uusap kami ng sister-in-law ko. Tawa siya ng tawa. Bakit? Eh, may ikikwento ako sa iyo. Kasi may sakit na po siya. Sabi niya, eh, ako'y nanonood ng TV mas mo. Nang pumasok, yung iyong apo sa tuhod. Maliit na baba, batang babae. So, lumapit mo dun sa kanyang lola at sabi ng lola, halika-halika, manood tayo ng TV mas ni Lolo Father. So, abang nanonood sila, biglang kamo, oh, 
nagkaroon ng zoom shot. No? Nag-zoom yung camera sa mukha ko. Aba, yung reaction daw ng bata ay, Momo! Takot ako! <laughs> Sabi ko, Diyos ko, bakit kaya binigyan ako ng ganitong mukha? <laughs> Eh, kanina nilagyan ako ng konting uh, ano, pantanggal daw sa oil no? para hindi daw masyadong shiny yung mukha ko. Humarap ako sa salamin. Sabi ko, ay, kabaong na lang ang kailangan. <laughs> Pero kahit ganyan ang mukhang yan, ang dami ko pa rin dapat ipagpapasalamat. Inimbita ako sa Itbulaga kasi anniversary nila. So ako na may nagmisa. At habang naandun sila, first reading si Pauline, si, si Julia ang nag-second reading, the person of the faithful, andun sila kompleto. Tapos nasilip ko si Yaya Dab. Hmm. Andun lang siya nakaupo. Eh alam ko yung mga pari naming iba, ay talagang puro fans club. May chairman of the board na ng fans club. You know, nung, nung last na nagkita yung dalawa, nagtatatalon yung mga pari. Hoy, ano ba kayo? Eh gusto ko magbida. So tinawag ko si Yaya Dab. Papicture tayo. Mm. So, nagpapicture naman kami. Nagulat lang ako, nung nasa likod namin, si Tito Vic and Joey. Bummer naming dalawa. Yan. Alam niyo, pagkatapos noon, ninagay pala sa official Facebook. Andun ako, si Yaya Dab, katabi ko, tatlo siyong Tito Vic and Joey. At nilagay sa baba itong mga kasatita. Aldenasang ka na, andito na yung paring tunay. <laughs> Kahit ganyan ang mukhang yan, <laughs> na Facebook yan sa Itbulaga. <laughs> Yun ang point ko. If we can only look at the many blessings we have, kanina I left the seminar at look at my closet, and I told myself, dami mong dapat ipinamimigay na, Father Mario. When you're unable to see the blessings that the Lord has given you, when you're constantly complaining of what is not there, alam mo, you will never be a happy person indeed. Magsi-60 na ako, senior citizen na ako. Tanda ko na, feeling ko, this coming Wednesday. Pero at the same time, nagpapasalamat ako, libre na ang cake ko sa Makati. May 20% discount pa ako, wala pa akong VAT na babayaran. You know? Sabi nila, Father, pumuputi ng buho ko. Sagot ko naman, buti may pumuputi. Hindi ako kalbo. You know? Ang dami mong dapat ipagpapasalam. If only you can turn to all of these. My dear brothers and sisters, one secret to a good life is to not feel constantly deprived. Pag feeling mo, 400 million, makakit na ako, 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 ito lang. 400 million. Dapat sa'yo, sampal-sampalin para gumising ka sa katotohanan na over, 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 blessed ka. And that you will never be happy if you feel that there's always may kulang. Mga kapatid, how can you be a blessing if you feel kulang pa nga ang blessing? How can you share the happiness if you feel you are a person who is not blessed? Jealousy is the product of an ungrateful heart. Jealousy is the product of a proud heart who does not see na ang lahat ng ito'y biyaya mula sa Panginoon. Kahapon may binabasa kami mula sa isang visionary. Ang sabi niya, I was praying and the Lord, during communion, nang bumalik na yung mga tao sa upuan, sabi niya, pakinggan mo, katalina ang kanilang mga dasal. At alam mo, ang dasal puro lahat. Lord ha, yung aking anak ha, mag, 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 uh, ano na, mag, uh, mag exam na, magboboard na. Lord ha, manalo ako sa luto. Lord ha, ganitong sakit ko. Lord ha, alam complain ni Lord, katalina, pakinggan mo. Lahat sila puro hingi. Wala pa akong naririnig na nagpapasalamat. Today, let us say thank you. I thank the Lord. I look back to 60 years and I thank Him for the gift that is truly beautiful. The gift of contentment. I have more than enough. I am superbly blessed. 
I am a child of God. But whatever He gives me, He can give to others Himself because His heart is an open heart. Once you have understood this, you will have joy, you will have peace in your heart. Amen. Please all rise. I believe in one God. The Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made, for men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us ask our Heavenly Father to Jesus to accompany the, the seafarers and their families in all moments of their lives. Full of trust and confidence to the Father, let us now ask Him, Lord, bless the seafarers. Lord, bless the seafarers. The church leaders may continue to be committed to the pastoral and social care to seafarers and their families throughout the Philippines. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless the seafarers. That civil leaders may fulfill their responsibilities and obligations towards the sea people of the sea. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless the seafarers. That seafarers may always be accompanied and protected by God, especially when on board ships. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless the seafarers. That the people of the sea who have experienced abuse, maltreatment and injustice may never give up in their quest for justice and truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless the seafarers. That those ministering to seafarers and their families may be guided and blessed by the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless the seafarers. That the Lord may welcome into his heavenly kingdom all departed seafarers and members of their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless the seafarers. For the birthday intentions of Apple Horta, Joy Nepomuceno, Arminia Cosino Rodis, Caloy Cruz, Raquel Velasquez, for the repose of the souls of Lorenzo Nicdao David Rustica Santos Ibanez, the healing of Raul Ramos, Benji Lolim, Norma Luzoriaga, Abigail de la Fuente, and Elsie Uy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless the seafarers. Lord, listen to our prayers and pour out your graces upon those who seek you with sincere and contrite hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please remain standing as the gifts are presented at the altar.
May we defend your sacrifice in mind. Be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His head, for the good and the good of all His holy church. Grant us, O merciful God, that these our offering may find acceptance with you, and that through it the wellspring of all blessing may be laid open before us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is true the right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord Holy Father Almighty and Eternal God. For in you will live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raise up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Fount of a holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of Jesus Christ our Lord. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Oh, oh. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, with Luis Antonio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Sa pamamakita ni Kristo, kasama niya sa Kanya, ang lahat ng parangal at papu. Ay sa iyo, Diyos ama, makapangyarihan Kasama ng Espiritu Santo Magpasawa lang Our God is a God who is inclusive para sa lahat ang kanyang awat biyaya. We now pray and call Him our Father, realizing we truly are all brothers and sisters in this one fatherhood of Almighty God. We pray the prayer Jesus taught us. So, Lord, we pray from every evil, especially the evil of jealousy. Graciously grant us peace in our days, 
that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Though Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Once you begin to have a grateful heart, you begin to be humble, you begin to have one sense of knowing you are blessed, then you will have not only peace and joy, but you will become a blessing as well. Bless one another with God's peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you and all the fellow viewers. Jesus, the gift of the Father for us. He's the Lamb of God who takes away the world's sins. Happy are we who come to receive Him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the blood and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive Him. For those of you who are unable to receive the Holy Communion, especially our brothers and sisters joining us in this TV Mass, may we invite you to pray for the prayer for the spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart, embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be sick. Thank you. 
and so we pray. Please rise. May this heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore us in mind and body, that we may be co-heirs in glory with Christ to those suffering who are united whenever we proclaim his death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Hanggang sa matuto tayong magpasalamat, hanggang sa maramdaman natin ang pag-ibig ng Diyos ay para sa lahat, hindi tayo tunay na magkakaroon ng kapayapaan at tuwa mula sa Panginoon. Let's call on Jesus to give us a grateful heart. Jesus. Tanggalin niyo po ang puot at galit, ang inggit sa aming mga puso. Palitan niyo po ang aming mga puso ng isang pusong marunong magpasalaman. Jesus, the God who saves. Jesus, the God of peace. Lord, dumingi kami paspasan mo ang mga namumuno ng aming bayan at ng mga nagnanais pang mamuno. That they will always realize na ang binibigay na kapangyarihan at pwesto ay isang pagtitiwala sa kanila. That they may truly love you and love the people they serve. Jesus, the God of peace. Lord, paspasan niyo rin ang lahat ng mga may sakit na nanunood sa amin sa telebisyon. Ang aming mga OFWs na malayo sa kanilang mga pamilyang minamahal. Paspasan mo ang mga walang-wala sa buhay na maramdaman nila na kayo pa rin ang Diyos ng pagpapala at biyay. Paspasan mo kami na matuto kaming magpasalaman. Lord, paspasan niyo itong aming ministry. Paspasan mo ang aming bayan. Paspasan mo ang lahat ng mga mayayaman na sila'y makaramdam that they are blessed to be your blessing. Oh Jesus, merciful God, we thank you. Oh Jesus, merciful Lord, we praise you. Oh Jesus, merciful Savior, we trust in you. Thank you, Father, for the gift of your creation. Thank you, O oh Jesus, the eternal Son, for the gift of salvation. Thank you, O oh Spirit, for the gift of your love in all our hearts. This is our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Happy birthday sa ating director, si Apple Horda. Ha? Nandun siya sa loob. Happy birthday! Go in the peace of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.